If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Scott Aromatico. And today I wanted to talk to you about a really serious topic. You know, I know we all struggle as men and even women sometimes too with performance, right? Who doesn't struggle with performance? It's, you know, it's kind of a, a, a taboo subject to talk about. And I know a lot of us love performance, but when you struggle with it, it can be sometimes, guys, get your head out of the gutter. Not that performance. Today we're going to be talking about our top 10 favorite, longest lasting, fresh fragrances that are perfect for the summertime. Let's go ahead and dive right in. The first fragrance I want to talk to you about may be new to you. This company may be new. You've never heard of them. And if you're brand new to the channel or you're brand new to Fragcom or, you know, just diving down that rabbit hole that is fragrances, you may have never heard of this, this company. This company is called Paris Corner and this is from the website Aroma Concepts. And we're talking about Bou Turquoise by Amir. This fragrance right here can be had for $40, which is an amazing price. And when you're looking for fragrances with a lot of longevity and a lot of performance, this one is amazing. But what does it smell like, Scott Aromatico? Well, if you love Zhirzhov's Herba Pura, look no further than this fragrance right here. Vu Turquoise will take care of your needs. This is an amazing clone, and we all know how long-lasting Herba Pura is, and this one does not disappoint. This is an eight-plus hour fragrance. It is fantastic. It projects across the room. It can be a little cloying if you overspray. I know a lot of us like to spray over 15 times or whatever the case may be, but this one will choke somebody out, so be careful. It is the perfect summertime fragrance for long-lasting fragrances. Well, what does it smell like? It's, it has orange on the top, a lot of citruses to be honest with you, lemon, bergamot, and then of course there's that fruity note vibe as well. And then you've got some other you've got some other notes in there like vanilla that just give it a nice sweetness. It's very musky and it's warm as it dries down. And like I said, I get eight plus hours on my skin easily. This is 80% close to Herba Pura by Zerzoff. This one is amazing. Definitely check it out. You'll find it on the Aroma Concepts website. This one is by Paris Corner. Definitely check it out. All right, next fragrance, another clone. We're going to stick with clones because clones are affordable, right? I've got fragrances all over the price spectrum on here. I've got niche, I've got designer, but here's another clone that's perfect for the price. And this one right here, you guys know about it. This one is Club de Nuit Intense by Armoff. Absolutely amazing fragrance, guys. Love this one so much. It's one of my favorites. The first time I bought it, didn't like it. You know, it's really, really kind of strong right out of the gate. It's like a flamethrower. It is very, very strong, but as it starts to settle down on your skin, man, this is fantastic. If you're looking for a fragrance that smells like Creed Aventus, but better in my opinion, more powerful, stronger, projects across the room, lasts eight plus hours, because I know a lot of us have performance issues with Aventus, this one right here, Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, what does it smell like? For some of you who don't know, you've got a lot of citrus. You've got a kind of like an astringent lemon right out of the gate. That's the part that's super strong, almost kind of like a cleaning product thing. But trust me, guys, it dies down. And for the price, it gets better. Then that pineapple comes about. You got that black currant, some apple, birch, a little bit of rose, and then musk, ambergris, vanilla, and patchouli. Absolutely amazing. First time I wore this fragrance, I got a compliment after it dried down. I got a couple that day. I wore it in Charleston, South Carolina, one of my favorite places in the whole world. This one is so good. What do you think is the best fragrance by our moth as far as clones go? Comment down below. This is the only one I own. So if you'd let me know in the comments down below, you know, I'm looking to buy some more. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So this one right here, absolutely amazing, fresh for the summer and beast mode like you wouldn't believe. A brand new indie niche fragrance house that I absolutely love. I've been talking about them so much. I get on these kicks when I find a house that I really, really love. And this one is no different. They are from South Florida. They've got those island vibes, just hang loose. You know, it's always five o'clock somewhere with this company. And this is Scent Journey. And this fragrance right here is Rotan Ruins. I'm going to spray this one because <laughs> he is so good and it's worth the spray. You guys are worth the spray. If you love those island vibes, if you love a nice cocktail when you go out of town and go on vacation, 
This one right here is modeled or inspired after a drink called the Dirty Banana. If you need to look it up, go ahead and Google it. It is amazing. Basically a dirty banana is like a dessert drink. You know, you've got a lot of, lot of vanilla. You've got a lot of chocolate, but the star is the chocolate and that banana note. Now this banana note is not like a ripe banana, not an overly sweet. This is more of like a greenish banana, just to kind of help balance everything out and keep this fragrance in check. It is not that cloying, trust me. You would think it would be super cloying because there's rum and there's whiskey and there's chocolate and banana, but it's not that cloying and it works amazing for the summertime, especially here in South Carolina where I live. Man, this one went all day and you would just get these wafts, you know, every hour it just kept projecting and kept, I kept picking up the scent and I was like, man, I smell good. I was like, damn. This thing smells really amazing. I think you can pick that fragrance up for around 120 bucks for those of you who are interested. Definitely check out Scent Journey, guys. Cocktail and Catamarans, one of the most amazing summer fragrances. Lido Life, Siesta uh, Key, I think is another one. Guys, this one is so amazing. You gotta try it. Wow. All right, next fragrance, a little bit higher up on the price spectrum. This is a niche fragrance. This is one of the greatest uh, niche fragrance houses in the world. There's a, there's a bunch, there's Killian, there's you know, Zhirzhov, but I love this one by Zhirzhov. This one is called 40 Knots. And I love it so much, for those of you who watch this channel a lot, I include it in a lot of videos because it's just so damn good. I have Neo and I love that one. And it, it's actually long lasting too for a fresh fragrance, but this is just one of my favorite fragrances. There's not a lot going on. It's just slightly aquatic, you know, less aquatic than you would think for something named after, you know, the, the sea and the boat life. But this one is more about the woods with those slightly aquatic notes. And then there's just a ton of amber. And the amber is just so smooth and so warm and so sexy, almost creamy, if you will. This fragrance is amazing. I get eight plus hours on my skin and Zhirzhov is so good, guys. And I only have two. I have a little bit left of Neo and I have this one. I'm looking to get some more. If you guys have any great suggestions, comment down below. But guys, don't sleep on 40 knots for the summer. It is absolutely beats mode, eight plus hours. And this fragrance, it just depends where you look. You can find it for like $189, maybe a little bit less some places, but like 189 plus. And guys, have you ever checked out Venba fragrances? That's where I buy all my niche fragrances. So if you go in the description down below, you'll find a link for Vemba. It is the perfect place to buy niche fragrances already at a discounted price, but then you can use my, my promo code and save yourself even more money. And they're always running fantastic promos. They're probably running one today for 4th of July as this video is coming out. But guys, definitely check out Vemba fragrances. Check out my link if you're looking to save money on amazing quality niche fragrances. All right, another fragrance that's beast mode. This one is in the designer realm. I love this fragrance. I know a lot of you do too. If you don't have this in your collection and you're starting one, make sure this is in your top 10 in your collection. This is Dior Homme and this is the 2020 version. Man, guys, this one, what can I say that hasn't been said? It's citrusy, it's aromatic, it's musky, warm and woody. The best way for me to describe this fragrance, and I won't stand it that long, is it's just elegance and it's just refined. It's a refined fragrance. It's fan fantastic and I can't believe how long this lasts. This is eight plus hours and it pumps on my skin. Now guys, okay, this should go without saying, but mileage may vary depending on the wear, a whole bunch of different things, guys, okay? There's a whole bunch of different factors, hydration, you know, chemistry, your batch, I don't know. There's a lot that goes into it, but on my skin, this one goes all day and projects and I get compliments every time I wear it. DRM 2020. This one's amazing. If you're looking for an elegant, refined fragrance, get this one. It's a nice citrusy, aromatic fragrance. Beautiful. This is in everyone's top 10, top 20, top 15, every summer countdown that exists to man. This one right here. This one is by Dolce & Gabbana. This is called Light Blue Oh Intense. This, when I first jumped down the rabbit hole, Jeremy Fragrance was talking about this one all the time. I had the original OG and the original OG is still gangster. It still plays. It's still amazing, but to me, this one, the sequel, is way better, which doesn't happen often. This is an Italian gentleman by the Italian Riviera in a bottle, guys. It is so good. You've got that beautiful, sweet grapefruit opening with a little bit of sweet orange. Then it's just very, very aquatic. It's like a refreshing blast of aquatic notes. There's some aromatic juniper, you know, to just kind of mimic that wind blowing through those trees. 
and then musky and warm. And this can be had for around 50 to 60 bucks on discounters online. So definitely check this one out. This is Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, oh intense. And I get about eight plus hours. I get eight, nine, somewhere eight to 10 hours with this on my skin. I love it. What do you guys think of this one by Dolce & Gabbana? Next one on my list, this is another niche fragrance. And again, if you go to Venba, you can probably find this at a good price, although it might be sold out. A lot of their stuff can be sold out depending on when you check them because their prices are so damn good. But this one is by Parfums de Marly, and this is Percival. Percival is just so good, guys. This is basically a high-end, high-quality, kind of like shower gel vibe. And that may turn you off because there are so many other fragrances that smell like this. It's not unique in any way, but the quality is amazing. The performance is spectacular. And who cares if, you know, if you like it, it doesn't matter how many people have it. Again, if you're one of those people who want to stand out in the crowd and you want to be different, I get it. But if you just like this fragrance, it's a dumb reach. It's a blind grab and go, you know, easy to spray on. And when you go out the door, you're going to smell good at work. You're going to smell good at play. You're going to smell good by the beach. So you're just going to smell good regardless, even if a lot of people do wear this fragrance or have fragrances that smell like this, but it's good. The citrus and the lavender are the stars. I love the cinnamon in this. The cinnamon is just ever so quaint in this. It just smells so good. But the base is where this fragrance really sticks out because there's a lot of embroxin, heavy amber. There's that aromatic fur and it's musky and woody on the dry down. This fragrance just reminds me of like a super amazing high quality shower gel. It's just a fresh and clean, long lasting eight plus hour fragrance. Perfect guys. Couldn't do this video, wouldn't feel comfortable without doing this video, without mentioning my favorite fragrance house. I absolutely love them. Don't have an affiliate, don't get paid for them. Buy all my bottles to all you haters out there. We're talking about Zaharoff, and this one is called Signature Rosé. So what can I say about this fragrance? If you have any stigmas whatsoever about men wearing rose fragrance, this will end it for you. This will be the rose fragrance that'll change your mind, men. Trust me, and women love the way this smells, so you're gonna knock them out in the streets when you wear this one. Women can wear this fragrance. It has got lots of rose, lots and lots of rose, Bulgarian, Turkish. There's even some rose incense in here that is a very expensive ingredient. There's amber, myrrh. I love the sugar cane and vanilla to give it that sweetness, and it's just so creamy with the sandalwood. This is one of my favorite fragrances. The first time I sprayed it, it was in the house for three days straight. I kid you not. 10 plus easily. It projects across the room. This is an amazing, fresh, gorgeous, opulent fragrance that really you can wear all year round, but you can wear it in the summer and you're going to get a lot of performance. So amazing. Next one, another one of those fragrances I was talking about, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue being in everyone's countdown. Well, this one is another staple in everyone's countdown. If you haven't heard, Middle East is exploding with their fragrances, okay? And this one by Rasasi called Hawas, and you can see the dents I put in this one, is no exception. Guys, this is amazing. Just think of Invictus Aqua, and as I've been schooled by many of you many times, this one came first, okay? But we always say this one smells like Aqua because Aqua is found in the stores, it's found in the box stores, it's found in Dillard's, it's found in Macy's, it's found all over the world, easy to find. This one is not as easy to find, so we always say this one smells like Invictus Aqua. But basically what this is, is a youthful, bubblegummy, sweet, aquatic fragrance, guys. Just so spectacular. When you smell this fragrance, you're going to smell apple, plum, a lot of citruses, mainly lemon. A little bit of cinnamon, some spices like cardamom, extremely aquatic. There's some ambergris, musky, a little bit of salty, dry driftwood. Love this fragrance. It goes eight plus hours on my skin, which is fantastic for a summertime aquatic. This one is gorgeous, guys. Definitely try it out. This is Rosasi Hawas. You've got to try those Middle Eastern fragrances. Amazing. I put this on the list. This is one of the freshest, sweetest, biggest compliment getting, longest lasting fragrance in my collection. It's so creamy, it's so lemony. The price is perfect. You can find this for like under 90 bucks. This is from Mansara Cedrat Boise. It's just a creamy, lemony, fruity, little bit of spiciness, just so good. As it starts to dry down, that's where it becomes masculine. It's got a lot of woods, a lot of leather, very sweet from the vanilla, musky. I get eight plus hours on my skin. Like you said, you can find this for like under $90. You can find it on the Venba website. If you look down below in the description, this fragrance is one of the longest lasting in my collection. But if you wanna spend even less money 
and you still want to smell like this, definitely try out Aroma Concepts. I don't have an affiliate for them or anything like that, but definitely try out Aroma Concepts in Paris Corner because you're going to love this guy right here. This one is called Sidrat Essence. Guys, this is the perfect alternative to Sidrat Boise. It smells absolutely amazing. It is like 80% spot on and the price is, you know, somewhere in that $40 range, something like that. And it is beast mode and lasts all day. And you're going to get that creamy, lemony, leather, woody scent that you love so much. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my beast mode, longest lasting, fresh fragrances, perfect for the summertime. Let me know some of your favorites in the comments down below. Please, if you'd love to be a part of my fragrance family, I want to have you. It doesn't cost you a thing and we can get to know each other and just have fun talking about fragrances, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell notifications off the side, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. This is Scott Aromatico, out. Peace.